All right, hello everyone. I have returned. This time for a quick little video where I'm going to practice a few throws. Some stand still, some cross step, but essentially what I'm trying to do is throw it that way. I'm over here at Northside Church in the middle of hole one. Essentially, this is often called hole one S because it's a shortened hole. It's about 300 feet to the basket. And uh, I'm not really trying to even make it to the basket. I'm just here to throw a few relaxed throws. See if I can get a little better. Pretty good. That was that was a late release, so I'm trying to instead of reaching back, of course, or just doing that. And focus on extension, as uh, Paul Ulibar says, when you're trying to move the arm back. But also want to do what uh, Gladiator Fitness does, and uh, or Gladiator Disc Golf does, and try to reach out a little bit and not bring the disc as close to the chest. Keep it a little under. That was actually very good, and it's under the basket. But I'm not here to play disc golf. I'm here to just practice throwing. That was a good throw, too. That was too low. I'm now reaching into my overstable drivers. <laughs> this is my very overstable driver, so I need to be careful. I don't think I've dialed that in. Let me try one last one. This is my understable dragon. That was actually very good. Let me go grab those discs. So what I'll do is I'll arrange these by stability. And the least stable is, of course, my Dragon, Go For My Leopard, FD, TL, T-Bird, and then Banshee. All right, let's see what I can do. That is actually pretty freaking good for me. <laughs> I feel like I reverted to bad form there. I'm so used to going to my bag, I'm not used to going that way for my discs. Oh, I always place my bag roughly there. That was nose up for no reason. I've got to try to There's no reason a hyzer like that. These are very overstable at this point. Yes, for me. Oh man, that was terrible. All right, round three, fight. At least the dragon's behaving like a regular disc now.
nose up. That is about what I want. Let's see if I can anhyze this a slight bit. Nope, that was a bit of a straight release. Well, I can't really complain too much. All of these are kind of going in the same direction. All of them are roughly releasing about the same height and angle and all that kind of stuff. So far my best distance is my dragon, which is well over 250 feet that way. Either pin high to the basket or a little bit farther, but everything else is shy of the basket. So something to keep in mind. I am absolutely crushing it today with the dragon. That was actually a really good line for the Leopard too. Like the height, the release angle, the speed, the direction, what it was going to do. I like it. That was too low and I ended up throwing like that. So that's something I need to prevent. Now, I'd like that, but I had too much of a hyzer angle on that. The hyzer was not intended. I'm actually trying to throw straight fall these. Force more open to the right. <laughs> yeah. Pull your wrist open more. Roger that. A little too much, but that's good. I'm just glad I could at least roll it over. <laughs> That was good too. A little rolled over, a little low, but I like the line. Again, my best results so far are with the dragon, followed closely by my leopard, typically. I mean, that's pin high, but 100 feet to the right. <laughs> Maybe closer to 80, I don't know. That was too high. That was a late release, but it's close to my dragon. I'm actually aiming for the tree next to the basket. That's what I'm focusing at because it's easier to see. Let's get it up to the basket. Pin high to it about. That was actually a bad arm movement, I don't know what you call it. This was my very overstable driver, so I need to anhyze it a little bit, so more upright. I 
that's about what I wanted, but I think I was still a little too far from my chest. That said, I did get apparently a line through, so can't complain there. And yet again, my dragon is king of the <laughs> king of the discs for this. I hope I can get better with tightening my angle to where everything sort of at least comes out where I need it to, even if I'm still getting, you know, the actual angle. But I mean, I want my release timing, you know, to be fairly consistent, which is kind of what I'm doing here. I'm gonna throw one more round with these uh, discs, then I'm gonna try a little bit of forehand. So again, I'm trying to extend, not reach back, reach outward, but extend. You want to be able to let the disc do this before you do that. And it's getting that timing down. And I'm still doing like the three, three step, four, three or four step cross step. I'm starting with this left foot at a 45 degree angle, 90, 45, 90 again, do that. I think that was too far away from my chest and I did that. I still need to get it to come in like, like that. I think technically those two were grip locks because, of, because I'm not putting them on the right angle. That's a good throw if that's what you wanted, that release angle and release timing, but I'm actually trying to go straight and let the disc do what it normally does. Too much hyzer. I need to figure out how to get this thing out flat. That's what I need to do. That's very close to what I wanted. Very overstable driver. I like how that came out and flew. So that's gonna wrap up the backhand driver portion of my practice. Now we're gonna do some sidearm or forehand. All right, so the cool thing is my T-bird, that brown slash gold T-bird that I threw was 10 feet shy of that basket. Again, I'm not necessarily aiming for the basket to try to get a point off of it. I'm aiming towards the tree that's about 10 feet to the left of it. Um, and now I'm going to do sidearm slash forehand with my mid-ranges because I really can't do it with the uh, drivers in terms of like the feel is just perfect for mid-range. The drivers are just a little bit too big. And anything outside of a leopard uh, doesn't seem to throw right for me. So here's my Star Manta, my Fox Bat, my Mako 3, Atlas, Shark, and Rock 3. I don't have my Rock with me. I thought about it, I would have brought it, but I'm not going to be throwing too many of these. So let's go. These I will put on the side because I like to have my discs within sight. And I can't get, I can't reach that basket, and I'm not going to try to. With my drivers going backhand, I was trying to throw about 80% power because that is as much power as I can use and still have what I feel is a level of control. If I try to go 100%, I risk injuring myself, and the throw is not as controlled as I like, if if controlled at all. All right. And again, understable to stable to overstable is the order I'm throwing. In. And I doubt I'm going to see 200 feet with any of these throws. Whereas all the backhand throws were 200 feet or greater, with the exception of two that I threw really low and they hit the ground and slid to about 180, 170. All right. That is about a 70% power throw, maybe close to 80. 
somewhere in that range. Now my favorite mid-range of all time, the Mako 3. Nice. The funny thing is I'm getting better results with my forehand than my backhand. Given I only really started throwing these in April or May, maybe close to June is when I really started focusing on it. Tight but too high. Love this Shark 3. Try to pull it, throw it straighter with maybe some Anheuser. In doing so, I went too low. But that was close to 80% power. If I had aimed it a little higher, I think it would have got the flight that I wanted. Now my only very overstable, very overstable mid-range. I threw that with what I felt like was a touch of Anheuser, but I won't know until I look at the video. All right, so the funniest part is my shortest distance throw was 170 feet with my Shark 3, and my longest distance throw was 200 feet with my Rock 3. So it's kind of funny that I'm able to get, you know, 180, which is actually where all, all the other uh, discs landed, all in a line with each other parallel fairly consistently with a little low or maybe a little bit farther sometimes so that is that is absolutely fascinating to me I've spent probably 100 more units of time throwing backhand than forehand so I'm just I'm absolutely amazed nice this actually seems to be a little bit more understable, a little less stable than that on my throw. So I'm going to see if I can oh, try to hide this as well. And now I'm actually looking at the basket because it's a little bit more to the right of that tree. Ah, that was a late relief. I basically did this so it came out at a wonky angle as well. So that was me going gung ho and I should have tried to go for 80%. Maybe 70% power, 80%. That is perfect. A little more flat. I think I still slightly highs with that. I'm not complaining, it was great. <laughs> I need a straight or in highs with it slightly. <sighs> like that. That's what I expect out of that. I can't get the distance that I can with backhand, but goodness, can I get straighter? That's crazy. Late release plus wonky angle, but that's still straightforward. That's crazy. So that's pretty crazy. These are all within 170 to 190 feet. And even the two wonky ones that I threw too much at an angle that way were about 170 feet. One was 170, one was 180, but not too far off. I, I mean, I kind of wish my backhand was that. It was only that far off between those the angle so uh, if I just try to not do too much go to 80% no higher not try to do anything crazy I think I can get some good throws this will be my last set of throws ah, I released that too low I need to do this a little bit more before I try to release About what I wanted, flat relief, slight uh, turn. Oh. 
shoved it into the ground. I'm not closing this out in style, guys. Sorry. There we go. That's what I wanted. Two more. Come on, Nick. That is exactly what I wanted. That's crazy. All you forehand dominant people, or people that are really good at forehand, now I see why you do this. Absolutely perfect. Frickin' A, that's like 190. Incredible. I'll go collect my discs, collect my thoughts, and come right back. All right, that is absolutely incredible, to me at least. For me to get a reliable 180, 190, that worst 170 at, at most 200 on the throw, where I'll throw 80% power, and it's roughly in the right range, that's just, that's amazing. That's just great. I mean, I, I want to be able to translate that out on a course. I mean, here I'm essentially in an open field, and I just like what I see today particularly with my forehand. I mean, I did really good with my backhand. I threw my dragon 265 feet from this point here, using U-disc down to plus or minus 13 feet, and looking at it on the map, that it's right next to this stump, so that is 100% accurate. And going down there to that basket is exactly 265 feet, and three times my dragon was pinned high to that which means it's probably a little bit farther than 265, you know, considering at one point it was pin high, but 100 feet away. Or somewhere between 80 and 100. So, at least today, right now, I dialed in my backhand throw a little bit, but as long as I didn't, A, over, try to overpower the mid-ranges, try to put too much power in it, or B, not think about it and just throw i was able to put out some amazing throws 180 feet for me which is great at really uh clear line anyway sorry to ramble um tomorrow we'll be playing at willow fork with uh, one of our subscribers just have you know pal around having a good time we may even get another course in you know a little six or nine hole in as well that is going to do it thank you very much for uh putting up with me. <laughs> Have a great day.